Cluster is a combination of multiple components. Cluster is your own component. It simplifies your work environment and makes it look clean and organized. Cluster also allows you to easily share your scripts and makes it easier for future reuse. Welcome to the video. Today, I will be covering all the basics of Cluster. First, in Rhino, open Grasshopper. Today, I'm going to use Grasshopper to create a simple vertical pipe. Save one base point. Find the top point by moving the base point along the axis. Connect these two points, we will get a vertical line. Use the pipe component and assign a radius to the pipe. Then we can control the parameter by dragging the slider. Here I have finished a simple script. Let's make it a cluster. All the input need to be replaced with a component, cluster input. Same as the output. Double click the input. I'll give it a name and some description so it will be easier to understand in the future. There is only one output. If we don't edit it, it will just inherit the properties from its resource. Select all of them and click the middle wheel. Find the cluster and it will package it up. If I hover over the parameters, it will show the description and name I just typed in. Now assign some new parameters. It works perfect. Right click on the cluster and go to properties. We can edit the name, nickname and description to the cluster. The icon could be changed or import your own icon here. Right click the cluster, go to export. It will save a file which format is GH cluster. Find the folder we just saved. We can just drag that into the working space. Let's check if it works the same. Adding to the ribbon is different from exporting. Go to File, Create User Object. Once finished, hit OK, and it will show a tab as User. The component we just created is showing here. Now we can use it as all the other Grasshopper components. If you want to know where the cluster in ribbon is saved, go to File, Special Folders, User Object Folder. Then we will see where the folder is. And this file format is GHUser, which is different from the file we exported directly. Let's say if we want to add the cluster from other resources to the ribbon. All we need to do is copy the GHUser file and paste into the Special Folders, User Object Folder. Once we copy it here, the user tab is showing immediately in the ribbon. Cluster is actually a smart object. It's like the block in AutoCAD or component in SketchUp or family room rivet. Here I created three pipes with the same cluster. Double click any one of them to go into the cluster edit mode. If we say we want to change the design from pipe to a cone, we still use the same base point same radius and same height and replace the output disable the pipe component save and return to the parent we can see all the clusters has been updated if we want to go back to the original place before the cluster just right click and explode if we don't want someone else to edit the cluster we share with right click and assign password Then, if we want to double click and into edit mode, the password is required. 
That's all about the basics for clusters. Give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.